Hey, uh, real quick, before we do anything, I got two things we gotta do. I do a really bad podcast called Cut the Tape, and for like the last six years, there's been no intro to it. So Lucas is gonna record everyone, and on the count of three, I need everyone to say, cut the tape. And that's gonna be the intro to the show, okay? So one, two, three. Cut the tape! Lucas, did you get that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Cut the Tape. This is a mandatory edition of Cut the Tape because... Let me let me back up. I am working long, long days right now because it's holiday season, and uh, what you don't want to do is walk into a frame shop thirteen days before Christmas and go, "Hey, can you make a shadow box?" Oh. I am grateful for the work, but long, long, long hours, and I will be very, very grateful, and I'm looking forward to having a week off after the holidays. All right. Um, wheelie? No, that's not mandatory. Is it Glow in the Dark Foot Soldier by Super 7? Not today. Is it Perceptor? No. It's Cobra Khan from... No? It's not? Well, what, what's going on today? It's this. Today is the day that Defsaurus ends on HasLab. By the way, this is my daughter with Santa Claus. Isn't that beautiful? And why do I say it's mandatory? Because in this box, I have my victory saber. But there seems to have been a lot of QC quality control issues with victory saber. So that's why I say it's mandatory. Uh, yeah, let's open this. Let's, let's open this. All right, we're gonna reposition camera here that's, that's maddie it's my youngest that i know of anyway <clears throat> let's see here let's reposition the camera all right there we go uh i've seen issues with the paint i've seen issues with the joints mostly it's the paint That's why I say it's mandatory. I, I I can't let this thing sit for a couple years and not know. Like I I, I got to know what's up. All right. Honestly, this thing was probably going to sit until Defsaurus came out. But um, I no no the time has come. So we got a plain plain box, right? The box is way, way smarter, smaller than I originally thought. And here we go. Ooh. Um, not, not too impressed. Not too impressed. We got this piece of cardboard here, which has some very nice art. You know, Defsaurus is coming in the background. We got Star Saber, Victory Lou. We got our MicroMaster guys. Okay. Oh! So, first thing I noticed, instructions appear, appear to be in color, as they should be, because we paid a premium for these. And there's also a small sticker sheet. All right, so here we go with layer one. Layer one has the blast effect. Now every tier of Victory Saber was unlocked and every tier of Deathsaurus is unlocked. We got cannons, we got a sword, we got the stand. 
And this is not taped down or anything. Here we go. Now, oh, much smaller than I expected. Much, much smaller. Much smaller than I expected. Let me get a figure for comparison. Here we have Revenge of the Bumblebee Ironhide for comparison. Yeah, wow. I, um, man, Victory Leo is way, way smaller than Star Saber. Uh, you know what's throwing me off is I'm not used to seeing that. I'm, I'm not used to seeing that. All right, so let's go over real quick what the uh, add-ons were. The MicroMasters, the Mega Cannon, Blast Effects, and the Shield, and the in the stand. All right, let's do a preliminary inspection. It looks like the chrome on the, on this part on the chest, which has become a huge, huge issue for people, is okay on mine. Same on Star Saber. What I'm noticing is there is a slight paint chip right here. That's something I can fix, not that I want to fix, but it's something that I can fix, not something that I'm gonna scream and cry about. The inside of the box. Nothing special, nothing special. Now the Autobot symbol seemed to be in good order. There doesn't appear to be any issues with the paint on mine. Oh, nice and tight. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I love the size. I wish she would have been a little bit bigger, but comparing this to the uh, Legends or Chug or however however you designate it, Titans Return, uh, Earth or Earthrise, however you designate it, to me it's I just call it Chug or Generations because I'm old. When I started the show, I had a black beard. <laughs> so comparing this to the uh, Power Master Optimus Prime God Jinrai, it's size appropriate. Comparing it to modern day Legends figures, it's size appropriate. Um, thought he was missing a... So this is cool, when he opens up his hands, the little peg that you plug your five millimeter weapon in disappears. Easy peasy, nice and easy. All right, okay. Happy so far with that. I may have been one of the lucky ones. Seems extraordinarily light, but uh, you know, it's plastic, so. Oh, wow. <laughs> these are, these are a little loosey, but they, they stay up, nice and, and long, the way it should be because it's based off the Japanese cartoon, which would have exaggerated the years. So I'm glad to see that carryover in the design. All right, 
All right, so far so good. There we go. There we go. Let's take a look at Victory Saber. Speaking of God Genra, Victory Saber. And if you don't know, you better ask somebody. Nice. Very well done. The application here on a piece that separates. Very well done. Um, most times when you get a faction symbol that's printed on a piece that separates, one is above the other and they don't quite line up. Here they do. And uh, here is the iron lad for, for scale. This one's very tight joints as well. Tight knees, tight shoulders, elbows. Incredibly, incredibly tight hands. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Application of paint looks good on the back. As opposed to this, look, look at this. This is what I mean by loosey-goosey. When something's tight, it, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't do that, all right? It doesn't do that. Positive. Good. We're happy with that. You know, we'll get those weapons out later. There it is. Typical of small ball joints. It's not loose. Oh. I mean, this is, this is pretty much, the MicroMasters are pretty much in scale with the G1 MicroMasters. What's surprising about this guy is um, the lack of articulation in his arms. Um, surprising, a little disappointing. I am all for Hasbro, Mattel doing stuff like this where they're they're putting the onus on the fan small ball joints where they're putting the onus on the fans still tight to decide whether it's something that can live in the marketplace or not. Boy. That one leg just does not want to go. So, uh, we've had a few of these HasLab projects fail. Um, Cookie Monster. And the Rancor, which was surprising. I, I, full, you know, I was really excited to get a Black Series Rancor. Um, man. Really hurt that one, didn't it? didn't make it oh the other one that didn't make it was Ghost Rider Robbie Reyes was that it Robbie Reyes and his Ghost Rider death fire machine yeah so much for Dodge very nice very very nice It's a lot easier to transform the MicroMasters than it is the big figures, which is why I don't like transforming things on the show. Also, uh, because um, I have arthritis and my hands hurt. You know, to be honest, I actually thought about stepping away from collecting Transformers 
this was last week. Uh, just because of how much my hands hurt. Plus everything I do here at the store, I do with my hands. So it's, it's tough. It's tough. I, I can't, I can't play with a figure anymore. I, I pulled out that really awesome Skywarp figure, not Skywarp, Skyfire figure. And uh, I just have it sitting there next to my bed because it hurts to transform it. But hey, I'm very lucky I got a really good, well-painted, well-made Victory Saber. Uh, Deathsaurus ends tonight. Just want to check this out. We don't do a lot of Motu stuff on here, but this is the Motu Origins figure. I, I never open these up. I like to just keep them sealed. Uh, this is the one that's based off the South American variant of uh, Cobra Con, known colloquially by the fandom as Camo Con. He's got his 2000X head. And he's got the original head. And I believe this one does shoot water. It does. But what's cool about this, all right, you open up the back. Look at that. That is genius packaging. I'm more impressed with the packaging of this single carded figure than I am with Victory Saber. Look at that. Heavy stock cardboard. Tells you the whole story of Cobra Con. And look, it slides right back on. I could take the figure out if I wanted to, right? I guess he doesn't shoot water. No, this is just a little, you know, blast effect to make it look like he shoots water. And then I can slide this right back on. Beautiful. I absolutely love this. What would have been a really nice touch if this was in Spanish or Portuguese? Just saying, if you're going to go all out, do an obscure South American variant, go all out. And I'm opening up because, uh, listen, everyone, probably everyone who's watching this already has this. They've already opened it. I'm the guy who's like waiting. But these are special items. Victory Saber from Hasbro. Cobra Khan, Mattel from Mattel Creations. Super 7, Foot Soldier. This is the glow in the dark Foot Soldier. Unlike the Cobra Khan or Transformers, the, these old school He-Man figures I get one. I don't really open them. These Super 7 figures. Oh, hell yeah. I'm opening all these turtle figures. Super 7's been killing it. Yeah, look at that. I am a sucker for glow in the dark. Shredder's right hand mummy. I mean, I am an absolute sucker. For glow in the dark figures. Look at that. Look at the inside. I bet you that lights up. Too. Look at. Look at oh my gosh. Oh. 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 Mm. 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 Bunch of set of hands. A bunch of extra weapons. I mean this. This is great. This is absolutely great. Absolutely a win. Well done. I'm taking this out of the box when I get home. Very well done. Well done to everyone. Uh, I think if I had to give out first, second, and third. Uh, look, if there was a first, second, and third for packaging, CobraCon comes in first. Super 7, Foot Soldier comes in second. 
Hasbro gets huge, huge kudos for the quality of Victory Saber. Listen, I'm not, not crazy about the packaging. Lately, the packaging, especially with a lot of these Amazon items from Hasbro has been lacking. But, as far as I'm concerned, this is a win uh, because there does not seem to be any quality control issues with this. Um, as there have been with other figures, this is just cheap. I mean, what? There's a trend here, look. All three, brown box, brown box, brown box. Oh. All right. <laughs> this is the part where I apologize. <laughs> There's a sleeve. <laughs> There's a sleeve that unfolds. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. There's a sleeve that unfolds around the box. Um, <laughs> that's neat. I'll, I'll give them points for that. That's very cool. It hasn't really been done before in TFs. Not, not like this. I'll give them points for that. But overall, cheap packaging. And look, mine came, mine came bruised. Even though there was a, a slip cover on top of it. So as to not scratch the foil. Well, still, that's it. That's it for today. Mandatory cut the tape. I had to because I need to know what condition this thing was in. I got nervous. I got nervous. Usually, you know, things will just sit around for a couple years until I get to it. I've been putting off opening entire lines because my hands hurt they do getting old anyway we keep the show about 20 minutes sorry for my appearance i'm again it's the holiday season being sole proprietor and doing everything with my hands takes a toll this is when i found the time to do it so that being said have a good holiday season all right we might get one more cut the tape in before the end of the year. Be nice to each other. Get your flu vaccine. Get boosted. Keep washing those hands.